Now your spot on collar is going to have these two little holes here. And one of the things I ask them about is what are one of the most common questions that you have from users that maybe uh, a video would be helpful for? And one of the things that they mentioned was actually sizing the collar. If you're going to use uh, the electronic prongs, you want to size your collar with the prongs on. Uh, if you're not ready to use it, still measure it with that. Uh, but essentially, you want to have two fingers under the collar uh, comfortably, and you need this portion, which is the GPS unit, which is facing up towards satellites, going up. Again, making sure that you have good connectivity. Prongs actually come in here very easily. They just screw in. In my experience with prong collars, uh, if you have longer fur, <laughs> do over. If your dog has longer or thicker fur, you're going to want the longer ones and obviously shorter fur, like a lab, etc., the shorter ones. Uh, also, sometimes my dog gets groomed, so sometimes I have to switch out. One note I would make, regardless of what collar you use, uh, but Really, for this one, make sure you just check these uh, periodically. They will just gently start to unscrew just from the movement of the dog, uh, but that ensures that they're on there correctly. So now that I have the prongs installed, I want to go ahead and test the prongs and make sure they work. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. This is called a tester, and you just place it over the prongs, and when you implement that feedback on the app, it should light up with just telling you that it's working. First of all, you need to know that you need to deactivate your funds to actually test your collar and ensure it's working. And when you hit the button, this will actually light up. I can't do that right now because my phone is on. Um, other ways that you can also test it, just so you are aware, uh, this is set at a level one. If you want to know what a level one feels like, if you hold it on your fingertips and you test the collar on your fingers, it's going to feel a little bit... Um, almost like a like a bug, like something's fluttering uh, aggressively. And the other place that I also like to test it is I like to test it on my forearm. It's a much more sensitive part of the body. And um, again, it's going to feel a lot like, a, like an aggressive bug. And, it, and you'll notice like dogs will be itching at it. And if they're itching at it, then they can actually feel it. And you can actually even stop there. That's all you're looking for is to get a reaction. One note I want to make about using an e-collar. You do not put this on a dog without training them. Uh, you have to take your time and really learn how to use this as a tool. It is a tool that is going to allow them to understand that this is not a place that they can go. And yes, it is going to give them some sort of stimuli that they are going to feel. But do you know what? They also know where their safe zone is. In a safety situation, for example, a car driving by or an animal outside their fence zone, they know that they can't go get that because they're going to feel it. All right, I'm going to bring Vivi over and I'm going to show you how to fit her. Now, one thing to note, I ordered the wrong size. I didn't really, by the way. I ordered the size that I measured her for, but she's 18 inches and this one starts at 18 inches. So this collar fits her, but I have all this slack right out here. When I let Spot On know, they let me know that they would send me out a medium uh, in exchange for this one. Uh, that way, I decided not to mess around with this collar at all. I wanted to make sure that it was all intact and not messed with. But that way, I could really show you the difference between uh, kind of fitting your dog, like the best way to size that out. And I'll have a video to go ahead and post that later. So make sure you like and subscribe to my channel so you catch that. Okay, so let me show you how I fit her with this collar. Even though it's a little bit big, it does fit her. It just happens to be on that last setting. I call that the cusp setting. So the important thing to know about putting on any GPS collar, but specifically the spot on, is where the satellite connection is. And if you take a look, here's the collar. On the side is the actual satellite indicator. So I'm going to go ahead and put the collar on Vivi, and when I put it on, I want this actually facing up to the sky. And I'm demonstrating this inside for right now. Um, but I wanted to make sure that I did it right and that it was really clear for the end user. Vivi, come. Now, if you take a look, this is how you set the spot on onto your dog with this GPS symbol facing up. It's very important for it to be able to get the best connection to the satellites. 
If you have found this video useful at all, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, make sure you use any affiliate codes that I have listed below, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much.